This video is an attempt to explain how the tab and enter key typically works when you're entering data into an Excel worksheet. I'm going to start in column B, row 22. So I'm at cell B22. And I'll start by typing in an ISBN. And a couple of things I want you to notice. First, column A, part of the data is now hidden from us because column A isn't wide enough to show all the data. Also, the data that I typed into column B is wrapping over into column C because column B isn't wide enough to show all the data. I'll adjust the column width in just a moment. But now, notice I'm still in column B22. My insertion point is at the end of my ISBN. I'm going to press the Tab key. And the focus moved to the next column, but I stayed on the same row, the next column to the right. So now I'm at C22, where I can type in the category, press Tab, and type in the binding. I'd also like you to notice how it does recognize the word has been typed in the column above it. And so once that word is what I want, I can simply press the tab key again without having to type in the entire word hardcover. The title. Here, I want you to notice that the cells in column E have a word wrap feature or allows the text to wrap so it doesn't stretch into the next column. So that's why the height of row 22 automatically adjusted so that the entire title can be seen in cell E22. Notice in the price column in cell G22, if I simply type in 8 95, 8.95 without the dollar sign, press tab, the dollar sign automatically appeared because this cell is formatted for currency. And in the quantity column, I'll type in 1. And here's where I'm going to hit the enter key. The focus should take me down to column B of row 23. And we can see that it did. Also notice that because of the formula that's in, column I, cell I22, the value was automatically calculated, taking the price times the quantity. So again, I could continue typing in the data for um, row 23. And when I get to my final column and hit the Enter key, it should take me to the next row, but back to the column with which I started. I hope that explains a little bit of how the tab and enter key works. If I want to set the width of a column to be as wide as the largest piece of data, I can select the whole column by selecting the column letter. And then I can move over to the border of the two columns. Notice how the cursor turns into a dark black vertical line with a double pointed horizontal arrow. And I simply double click and it adjusts that column. Notice that it adjusted to the widest piece of data in that column. We may not want it to be that wide. So what I can simply do is click and drag the column over to the width of my choice. And the same thing here. If we know we want the column width of B to be as wide as an ISBN, I can simply select a cell and then do that double click in between the two column borders and it adjusts to that cell. I can adjust multiple columns at once. I can select multiple columns and double click between the borders and they both adjust. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you.